because since many years I work outside, I am used to work in the cold. Which means that the cold and the wind and the rain and the snow and the freezing temperatures never bothered me too much. My idea was a little bit, huh, cold, that's for snowflakes. Yeah, that makes sense. But since a bit more than two years with the start of my health problems, I can't handle it anymore. I have always the impression to freeze here in my workshop. So I thought it would be nice if I could install some kind of heating system here in my workshop. And I have one. I have here a cute little wood stove buried under a pile of rubble. Now this is of course the backside. There's just one little problem. There is no chimney here in my workshop. So the smoke can't go anywhere. And that's where my fading memory brought me back to this thing. This is a propane burn. Very handy to make food for a whole bunch of people. But because I'm alone, I don't use it much. What I think could be nice is to install on top here some kind of case with a heat exchanger. I have some sheet metal that I can use and the idea of the steam boiler, you see what I mean? And then use a fan to blow the hot air here into my workshop. But first I need to know if this thing still works. And I suppose there's only one way to find out. This one, not really success. I have here two pieces of sheet metal. The top one is 3 mm stainless. And this rusty thing here is 0.8 mm just regular steel. Let's go for it. My first idea was to cut it out round, circle, but in fact at 45 degrees for me, good enough. 
Right, I have tons of these little pipes, but this is very thin wall, so very good for heat exchange, but they're all painted red. And because it's thin wall, it's also very complicated to weld. The idea is of course to make something like this. The flames come from below here, go leak the pipes that are in this direction and the air will blow through the pipes and the heat will go up. That was the idea. So pipes, no good. I don't have the tools to cut nice and round holes of these uh, dimensions. I don't, know, don't even know how much. I don't have the right tools to cut this in sheet metal. So, another solution. I think I've got an idea. If I cut three slots in here, the heat will come from these uh, five uh, burners here through these slots and heat up fins a bit like in a radiator. So three fins, double sheet metal things that I can make out of this uh, 0.8 sheet metal I have here. That could work. And then the space between will be ventilated by this thing here. I made a test piece and I think it looks promising. The idea is that with these straight lines here it will be much easier to make the cutouts than if it's curved or whatever shape four straight lines. Angle grinder, game over. I think that could work. Let's make two others. The junk. To join these pieces together, both halves, three times of course, I could use maybe my welding thing here. I have 
whole bobbin of thin wire. This is 0.6 millimeter wire, which works very well for this thin sheet metal. But I have this bobbin for more than 20 years and it's now completely rusted. So this wire doesn't slide very well in this uh, gun thing, welding machine here and it always gets stuck. So rivets it will be. I decided to use screws to put these things here in place. I think it's easier because putting rivets here in between, that could be a challenge. Plus, and the most important reason, imagine I have to take it apart again for whatever reason, maybe I have to do some modifications with screws. Now I can. So far, so good. Let's start making this cover to direct the airflow. Primitive. I think I made a little mistake. Can happen, right? These fins and this cover are the same height. Which means they will never perfectly fit in these three holes here. And they can move with the heat and the cold and changing temperatures. I think it would be better if they stick out a little bit so the holes will hold them in place. So all I have to do is cut off this rim and bend it 10 millimeter higher. Let's do This should be the final assembly. 
My first idea was of course to cut off all these little bolts that stick out, but I can leave them in place because with a little bit of searching it's perfectly in place like this. So no need. I think it's a win to leave them on. I wanted this thing to be a tight fit. I don't think I missed this one. Come on. I admit that it looks stupid, but I'm sure it's not the first project here in this workshop that looks stupid. But does it work? Let's find out. Getting warm. This thing works great. Before I do any testing with my thermometer here, maybe I should explain why I think it's better, in my opinion of course, to work in degrees Celsius than degrees Fahrenheit. Let me explain. Degrees Fahrenheit, F, three straight lines, yeah. degrees Celsius, C, a nice curve, a little bit in hook form, which means that with this shape, if you hang it on the wall, it's more secure. The F with the straight lines will never hold that well. That's the reason why. I have my brand new heater running now for a few minutes and the temperature raised with 2 degrees in just a few minutes. For the moment, here in this corner, it is 14 degrees Celsius. I think that works great. I'm happy with the result. <laughs> 